Hi guys, it is about 8.30, uh, the kids are in bed, I did take some clips earlier um, from when we went to the playground and stuff, I'll include those afterward, but I want to talk about um, what we did with my mom's club today. Um, like I said, I was president this past year of my mom's club and um, my administrative vice president, which basically means um, she's in charge of the fundraisers and the service projects. And we did a big bingo fundraiser this year and our, our big service project was um, assisting a domestic violence shelter. And we raised primarily, my vice president, Rubiel, she's amazing raised about $1,100 um, through our bingo and book sales um, and things like that. So today, she and I drove to the shelter's secret location or whatever and dropped off the supplies that we bought. We bought some cleaning supplies including, you know, mops and detergent and dish soap and, um, I mean, just like cleaning agents and a set of pots and pans and um, a ton of books that Barnes & Noble had donated to us to raise money so we had left over we gave them that there were a you know giant box of toilet paper a giant, giant box of paper towels uh, Rubiel and I think our treasurer Jennifer made these toiletry kits they're like welcome kits because a lot of these women um, flee their homes if you will um, sometimes in the middle of the night and they don't have anything so the um, and a lot of the times they're with their children as well so these little welcome toiletry kits had like a shampoo a toothbrush a toothpaste a conditioner a lotion um, just basic toiletry needs that these women might have when they come um, we also got um, I'm not sure what else we got I mean again we got cleaning stuff but we also got a bunch of gift cards to uh, grocery stores and um, I think three different grocery stores. And what it is, we got gift cards in $10 amounts. I think we got 45 gift cards. And what it is, is when a, a woman or a family come to the shelter, they get put on what's called, I guess, emergency status. And, um, I mean, unless they have their own money, but if, you know, they're fleeing a situation that was dangerous or they don't have any money, um, the shelter will give them, you know, let's say $25 worth of gift cards, and that will, you know, they tell them to buy themselves food for a week. And, you know, they have a special pantry that's, that's theirs, like special shelves in the pantry. They have a big walk-in freezer, a big walk-in um, refrigerator. And these women go and they buy their their food for the week. And again, sometimes they have children with them. And then also when they, they graduate uh, out of this shelter, they'll give them gift cards to buy supplies because a lot of times they're starting from scratch. They don't have anything. So um, we also got a tour of the facility. And we got to see a couple of the rooms. Um, most of them are bunk bed rooms. Um, but it's not like what you see on TV where you, you know, there's like 50 beds, 50 cots, and everybody's in one room. This one was more like a hotel, and, you know, women had either their own rooms with their family, or if they were, you know, just a woman by themselves, they would kind of bunk together. And they, this room had like a shower and like a little soaking tub and two bathroom stalls and they had um, you know privacy locks on the door from the bathroom because they were Jack and Jill bathrooms and bedrooms. They have a laundry facility, they have like a big open room that has a big TV where the kids can go watch it. They have a huge classroom where they have teachers come in and I guess from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. these kids go to school. So it was, it was just a really nice thing to go see and by that I mean it was nice to be reminded in my you know wonderful comfortable life that there aren't people who necessarily are that are as lucky as me and to never take things for granted um, it's you know it's easy to get caught up in the little day-to-day -day things that maybe 
you don't care for, you don't like, that annoy you, and it's just, I'm very blessed, and it's places like these shelters that really make a difference in our society, and they give these women hope, and they give these women a place to turn to with their children to feel safe, um, and I'm very grateful for places like this. And, yeah, I'm just, I'm very grateful. And um, it was nice to tour the facility and to see where our donations were going because um, the Vice President Rubiel and myself, neither of us are on the board next year. But I th we think that we're going to talk to the next year's board and, and strongly encourage them to stay with this organization because they needed, I mean, they, oh, that's another thing that we brought, um, bed sheets, uh, mattress covers, pillow covers, pillowcases, so, um, bedding as well, they really, really need it, because they have twin beds, um, but we're going to encourage next year's board to hopefully contribute time, funds, um, you know, donations to this particular shelter. Um, another thing that we noticed when we were walking around was most of the walls were very, very barren, very just bare, um, which, I mean, they don't want to spend their money on frivolities. They need the food and the cleaning supplies and things like that. So I asked and I said, you know, maybe our mom's club could do a play date where the kids get together and make something. Because there were places that had, like, a wall that was covered in, let's say, butterflies, um, or, like, things that were kind of written, almost like the, the like, the stick-on words, like, inspirational words, so I asked her, I said, you know, if we held a play date and the kids made, you know, something that maybe could be put on the wall to brighten up the walls, and she said, definitely, um, and she said that we could even come with the kids sometime and do a, maybe a uh, art project with the kids that are there at the time. Um, so it'll be nice to be able to contribute in that way. And my Vice President Rubiel, she was very interested. She's like, I would love to donate time. Um, you know, if, if we can, I would love to make over, a, like, a room with some decorations. So it was, it was, it was an eye-opening experience. It was a good experience for me to see something like that. And again, just really appreciate what I, what I have and appreciate that these women have places like this to go when their home life isn't isn't ideal. Um, so yeah, so that's what I did today. Um, I mean, we went to Costco, we did some other stuff, but that was that was the bulk of what was on my mind today. So I hope that you guys had a great day. Feel free to leave a comment down below about maybe something recently that mainly I'm sorry that really made you think like stop and think about how lucky you were. Maybe it's an illness, maybe it's, um, you know, someone close to you had something happen to them, you know, maybe you were in a near, near, near miss car accident, just, you know, feel free to just leave a comment about something that you've been through recently that made you think and made you grateful. Hope that you guys had a great day and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. You can do it. Wow. I don't want to sleep out too fast and knock you around. Go ahead, go scare him. Yeah, go ahead, run fast. I missed you. I didn't see you for like three minutes. Come here. Are you okay? You alright? I know, it was like three minutes. Oh, good. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Good job.